Well, here's a whole flock of starlings just landed right by the Boeing Aerospace Pond. And hopefully one of our raptors will see them and come in and get something to eat. We got a Merlin and Peregrine, Falcon, Sharp Shin, Cooper. We got everybody here and they feed on these starlings and there's a bunch of them in the other tree too. They just landed, so. Any one of our uh, raptors is looking for a snack and the peregrine, when they get up on the ladder there, they got a good advantage too, so. Coop, he might be in the area, he hunts them. But you can see, they got a lot of starlings now showing up. All right. Maybe we watch them long enough, they'll fly. We'll see what happens here and see if they attract something. Yeah, here's our Cooper Hawk from the backside now. We're downtown Renton. And we're in the area, it's right down there by the, the Boeing facility, by the Boeing Pond. Used to be Long Acres. And you can see all the color on his back, the white spots, stripes on his tail. He's looking every which way because a lot of crows hollering at him. and. There's a red tail calling earlier. But he's over here for the starlings. There's Oregon juncos. Several other small birds in the area. And he's in hopes of trying to catch himself something to eat. And we're hoping to make a movie of it. I'm almost standing right under the pole, so I'm very close. I have the light on my back now and Wanted to take the opportunity to get a good video of this guy. We had a lot of uh, goldfinches earlier, about a week ago, and they're just all oh, just a little ways around the curve, and I think he would be hunting those too, but I haven't seen any of them today. But we saw this guy yesterday, and he's back again today. Oh, he's really alert. Oh, yeah. He's going to relieve himself, then they usually fly, so let's see what he's up to here. And there he goes. All right. Here he is. He just flew back. We'll keep an eye on him. We gave him from the front side now. So he took out after a bird, and he had a miss, so now he came back to the same pole, but he's right on top of the light now. Well, we're happy to get to see his breast feathers. See, he's got his hackles up. See the color of his eye. This could be uh, this year's hatch. It's a juvenile or immature. But he's really got that head going. He wants to try to catch something to eat here. He's got a good spot for hunting. A lot of starlings around here. There he goes off on another. Yep, there he goes. Well, we have a whole flock of starlings in the thicket here. So one of our raptors in the area has got a good chance to get something to eat. We've got quite a flock here. I'll zoom in on them a little bit. Oh yeah, they're feeding. So you see there's plenty of food here. So yeah, like I say, if one of our hawks would see it, or one of our falcons, they'll get a chance to catch something. So we'll keep an eye on them. See what happens here. He's thinking about it. He's got his mind on a snack. How can I catch one of those birds? Maybe I can catch this one over here. Or maybe that one off to my left. If I get the opportunity, I'm gone. Good camouflage, little white spots when they're in the trees and the sun's through is like dappled lighting. They like that. Oh yeah. He sees some starlings ahead of him a little bit. They're off in the distance. Yeah, the starlings are fooling around now. I think he thinks he can catch them. Oh yeah. 
Got that head bobbing now. Look at him. He's really setting up the opportunity. Oh yeah, he's concentration now. And the starlings don't even know he's lurking here. They haven't seen him, so he's uh, got the element of surprise. We like that. There's our flock. Looks like they're taking off. And there they go. Oh yeah, Cooper Hawk's right on it. There he goes. And here. It looks like he's interested in the birds. The berry bushes are closed. Oh yeah, there she goes. Checking it out. Look at her go. My goodness.